What is up, YouTube? Officially 11 days out from the 2024 Gold Coast Marathon. So we've now entered the taper period and we're starting to reduce running volume. Still keeping a little bit of intensity with a few speed workouts and stuff, but really backing off on, yeah, the volume and just not doing as, as bigger workouts. Strength training will probably stay at three days a week. And obviously next week is race week. I'll probably try to do all my strength sessions at the start of the week. And I think I'm gonna try to do my last like lower body strength session, maybe Sunday or Monday. That way I'm still, still doing at least one lower body session instead of just completely not training legs at all that week. But, um, getting out for a run this morning, a little bit later than usual, it's like 7 a.m. But letting the, letting the body rest at the moment. It's all about coming into this race as fresh as possible. We just got down near the start line for the marathon. It's around, I'd say around four kilometers to get here from my, from my place. So really is home court advantage. Well, I need to use it to my advantage anyway. But um, yeah, they're already starting to set everything up, which is cool. And literally as I'm like running, my heart rate's like shooting up because I start thinking about the race. But yeah, excited more than anything. All right, we just made the turn back. Probably noticed I got the heart rate monitor on today. Just want to see how accurate my watch is at the moment. I did get a new watch as well because my other one had a few issues. So just going to see what kind of data we get today compared to the watch. But going good so far. Got about six k's to go, and then we'll be done. So where I'm running right now is literally where you finish the marathon. Come through, you come through that bit there, and you got a couple hundred meters to go. Then that's it. So, just trying to envision it, I guess. That is the morning run done. 14 kilometers, which I think is like just under nine miles, I think. Pace was 450 and average heart rate was 145. So pretty accurate actually, my watch recently, I think. So I get a few questions about tattoos, like if it, some people have issues with Garmin's not reading well through tattoos. Um, 
I've got very kind of light tattoos in that area, so I don't know if that makes a big difference, but um, yeah, I don't really have any issues with my watch. Obviously heart rate, chest strap is gonna get more data if you're after more data, but yeah, watch seems to work fine for me. Um, I've got the Garmin Forerunner 965. So I did just say before, obviously I got a new watch, but it was just the exact same watch, just a new, just a new one because um yeah the other one bluetooth stopped working this dog is so annoying um yeah that's the run done see you guys inside i'm gonna jump in the ice bath it's not actually that cold i think it's only like 12 degrees so it shouldn't be too bad let's do it oh it's still a little bit chilly jesus ah. Ah. okay it's colder than i thought but um i need to give it a clean out so that's why I haven't actually had it on cooling down, but still definitely cold enough. All right, five minutes at 12 degrees. It wasn't too bad, because like I said, it's not actually that cold, but um, yeah, better than nothing. We'll give it a clean today, set it back to six degrees and get it freezing, because we want to prioritize recovery the best we can leading up to race day. But gonna go have a warm shower now. We'll cook some breakfast and then, yeah, we'll get this day started. As you can see, just filling the ice bath up. A little bit of trouble <laughs> trying to empty it just then, but we got it done. I usually like siphon the water out just onto the grass. Pretty good that I have it outside here, makes it pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, try to drain the water at least every kind of two weeks. Might need to do it every week or so, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, putting fresh water in there. Just gonna do some work inside and then We'll head off to gym shortly. Katie just got home. She's brought me something as a little pre-workout snack with some pre-workout fuel. She's eaten half of it, but <laughs> it's bloody massive. Biscoff um, croissant, I'm pretty sure it is, but that looks so good. So that will be the pre-workout fuel for today. From custard canteen that looks good thank you <laughs> thought i should probably have a proper meal as well so we've got some lean grass-fed beef patties there that I cooked the other day on the barbecue we've got some white rice and a little bit of this barbecue sauce on there as well so this will be lunch for today and then we'll head to gym in about an hour or so okay 12:40 ready to go to gym. We've got a shaker full of water. And we've got a scoop of endo pump in here. This is BPN's non-stim pre-workout, but it's like more of a pump formula. So we've got one full scoop of that. I have a few coffees during the day, so I only need probably half a scoop of flight because that's got a fairly decent amount of caffeine in it. And then we've got one scoop of creatine. So code Tommy, for all BPM products, we'll get you yeah, 10% off, I think. Um, yeah, if you if you're not a big can of if you're not a big fan of a heap of caffeine right before you train, just go the endo pump. Um, otherwise, if you need something to get you going, flight. If you're not like me and you can absolutely smash both of these together, then go a scoop of each. Absolutely weapon combo. This is the mango flavor unreal flavor but i also wanted to show you guys something that i just picked up the other day so i actually don't need that much stuff for gym so i thought why not get a camera bag and i can just put all my camera gear in here because that's like at least it won't be flying around my bag it's all secure now so what do we got in this is my camera that i use for running content um, and a few other things so it's a dji action 4 absolutely love this thing we've got a another tripod in here which is just for an iphone 
Then we've got this small tripod for the camera that I'm holding in my hand. We have got my, that's actually got a Tamron lens in it, um, 28 to 70. This is the filter that I use when I'm at the gym. This gives it that, a little bit of kind of that, that um, cinematic look with the, with the fluoro lights and stuff. So there it is there. It's like a 1 8 mist filter. So I put that on. Um, that is usually where I have my microphone, which I've got on the camera at the moment. Headphones, we've got a towel, LSKD towel. We've got some bands kind of warming up. This is what I also wanted this bag for. It's got like a um, tripod kind of holder there. Two of the legs just kind of slip in there and um, yeah, all zips up like that and holds all the camera gear nice. Yeah, just nicely. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to go now. I shall see you guys at gym. That is the workout done guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you at home. Post-workout meal, we've got two pieces of sourdough, some avocado, and some eggs on top there as well. Okay guys, seeing as last week was pretty much the, the last big week of this full marathon prep, we're gonna go through the training like I have been for the last few weeks, and this will probably be the last kind of full week of training that I break down and go through because obviously this week started the taper and next week will be like kind of deep into the taper. So yeah, last breakdown of recent training. So this was from the previous week. We started the week obviously with Monday eight kilometers recovery kind of easy run. I think I did this one in the afternoon. I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, eight kilometers, just easy pace. Um, obviously the day before was a pretty big long run. So yeah, just getting the legs moving, but just a recovery easy pace. And then we did a push session at gym. So that was obviously my first gym session for the week out of the way. Tuesday, we had a speed session with the group. Now this was a five kilometer easy warm up, and then it was three kilometers, ended up at 3.39 pace, that's minutes per kilometer, two minutes easy jog, and then it was five by 90 seconds at a fast pace, which ended up between 3.15 to 3.25 minutes per kilometer pace for those 90 second efforts, 60 seconds easy jogging in between and then that finished off those five by 90 seconds three minutes easy jogging and then it was another three kilometers after that which ended up at 330 pace so pushed it a little bit towards the end and then it was a two kilometer easy cool down now this 
week was already kind of a bit of a taper week. Definitely not as big as some of the weeks we had maybe like four weeks ago or so. So that was Tuesday's session. We had, well, I went to gym that same day, did, an, did a lower body strength session. That's been the routine during this marathon prep, speed workout Tuesday morning, and then go to the gym and get some lower body strength work in in the afternoon. So that was Tuesday done. Wednesday was a midweek long run, 20 kilometers, just did an easy pace. Thursday was 14 kilometers, just at an easy pace. And then it was a pool workout at gym. So that was three out of three gym sessions done for the week. Friday, we had a tempo session. So kind of like last pretty big um, kind of speed session, I guess. Four kilometers, just an easy warm up, And then it was 45 minutes at marathon pace or just quicker. Now, I don't intend on going this fast for the marathon, but it was, yeah, I guess just a little bit quicker. Um, so me and Marty from the running group ran, ran this 45 minutes tempo together and we did it at 3.52 minutes per kilometer pace. So we're pushing it pretty hard, but it also felt pretty comfortable. Could, could have obviously probably kept going for another 15 to 20 minutes and we would have been okay. So good confidence booster, starting to feel pretty comfortable at that 3.50 to four minute kind of pace. One kilometer cool down to finish up that session. And that was, yeah, that was probably, like I said, the last kind of big session Saturday was 12 kilometers just at an easy pace ran this one with katie sunday we had our last proper long run even though we only pretty much went to i think it was we aimed to go for two hours 15 minutes we ended up just hitting 30 kilometers which was pretty much bang on anyway and yeah we're pretty happy just to do the 30ks moderate kind of pace i think it was around 40 4 30 minutes per kilometer pace and i guess that was kind of the yeah the, the start of the taper i guess um so that is that was week 14 of this 16 week prep next week will be week 16 and yeah race week so i think for the next video, I'm gonna do a full race week video because like I mentioned, I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get on the day of the race. I'm thinking of just doing a longer kind of form video. Well, let, you guys can also let me know what you think about this, but I'm thinking of doing a longer kind of video and filming a heap of stuff throughout the whole week, filming as much as I can on the day and then doing a race recap as well. And if it ends up a longer video, that's all good. I'd prefer to just put it into one video so you guys can watch it like that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thanks for the love late, lately, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another one. And that's it. We're coming to the end of this prep. I hope you enjoyed it. Bring on the race day video.